Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Young Sage here in GTA 5 Director Mode. We're going to play with some of the Director Mode stuff. We're currently playing as Tracy right now. And this this pees me. When she takes out her phone, she actually holds it. And she actually touches it and everything. Why can't our online characters do that? So we currently have infinite health, and and we have some of the flaming bullets. Now, can we get cops on us? Well, What's up? Tracy holding a gun is a scary proposition, though. And yes, by the way, I do have vehicles that, that we can use. You could mess with this, drop in some props and stuff. But we're not that's not what we're here to do. We're just here to play around. So this is kind of what's cool. You can do all this crazy stuff. You know, we cannot get a wanted level, so uh let's let's actually just go to down, because this is the cool thing. We can kind of just fast travel to wherever we want. Imagine having that in online. Yeah, we have incendiary bullets. Let's start murdering people. Tracy the Santa with a machine gun. I think she learned well. <laughs> yeah, we're setting everything on fire if you're noticing. I think it's a little too much. Yeah, we're setting everything on fire. Let's turn off those flaming bullets. That's gonna get us killed. Oh my Jesus! And this is what this is what makes story mode more realistic than online. In online, you can't have. I don't care if they shoot us because we can't die. Okay, they're still catching fire. Okay, we gotta like gotta reload there. Yeah, cops on fire is fun, but Tracy on fire, not fun. I'm used to in GT Online where you just walk right through the fire. Pussy! Mm. Recorded lines for when she kills somebody. <laughs> it's like the new players would try this. <laughs> Loser! <laughs> Tracy is talking all this shit. <laughs> uh, why is everything still on fire? I'm pretty sure we wouldn't last very long if we didn't have infinite health. I just love that I'm allowed to play with this stuff. <laughs> it's kind of fun to just put on infinite lives and just and just kill everybody. Like, 
<laughs> Seven, like, 16 year old kid goes on rampage. Doesn't know how to die. Uh, Tracy is not allowed to use cover, which is interesting. I guess she doesn't have an animation for it, that's probably why. Because every character has their own unique animations. Lester actually has very unique animations if you ever watch it and try to move. Because he's a cripple. Do you know what? We're actually going to pull out Lester. You know, we see my character kill a bunch of people. We have to go back to the casting trailer because it's the only way we can switch characters at this point. Uh, I'm sorry, Tracy, but your whole face is broken. <laughs> Wait, we can't be Lecture, can we? Guess we can do Amanda for a little bit. I've already done this as Amanda before. You know, we couldn't do this without unlimited health. Amanda can take cover, though. Why can't Tracy? You know what, we're gonna grab a gun, turn off our invincibility, and we're gonna see how long we last. Since we can't use cover. We can actually disable one of the levels, I did not know that was a thing. Let's just put on wanted. You know what? We're not going to put it on full wanted level. We're just going to do low. Because then we'll have a consistent one star level. No matter what we do. I think that's how it works. Alright, consistent three star one level. Take your gun, Amanda. Fuck, sucker! <laughs> yeah, Amanda has her own has her own like set of like taunts and sp and speech lines that you can use. I should have went through all that with Tracy. If you can say, they can all say a lot of things, and a lot of them are quite off color. Yeah, yeah, it stays at three stars the whole time. We're gonna switch over to the college. A little bit of change of scenery. 
I mean, Tracy did all of her killing there, so. Die, you stupid college kids! You never get your degree anyway in this goddamn shitty school. I don't mean to incite any violent behavior with this video, by the way. This is just for fun. And to see what, and to show off what you can do with director mode, because I never cared to do it. I did all of Trevor's uh, rampages, and I'm like, let's play around director mode, see, see what the frick we can get, see what kind of trouble we can get into. Tracy with a minigun. It just does not seem right, but we're doing it. What's happening? What's happening? See ya. And we don't have infinite life, so... Right now, she's, she's literally like Harley Quinn right now. We are about dead. Chrissy can't die yet. She hasn't even gone to school yet. She's dead. Hm? What happens if you die, though? Because I never died in director mode. They bring you back to the trailer. Put our invincibility back on. Thunderstorm, high wanted level in the evening. Tracy with minigun, she can't be killed now. You know what, just because it's not an online. Let's actually play with the railgun, because we don't actually get to use this at all. Okay, there is one mission in GTA Online where you can use it. <laughs> I honestly don't know why they won't give it to us, because it's just as destructive as half the crap we have. And we have fly flying motorcycles that can shoot missiles. Why can't we have a rail why can't we have the railgun? first person. No, we're not allowed. I thought it was just because we were using the railgun. I do remember when PS4 PS4 GTA first came out. And like the and that and that was a brand new feature, whole first person view.
Uh, I just noticed the railgun basically ignores cover. It does. Maybe that's why, because it might be overpowered in, like, a PvP setting. Because you could probably have this in a deathmatch, then. I guess because, well, you can't get a Mark II in a deathmatch, so I guess that makes it quite unfair. Unfortunately, we don't have access to any vehicle in the in the game. This is not like... Because that's how I'd reveal... That's how I do vehicles. Instead of buying everything, I would just go into director mode and just play with it there. Besides the director mode, you can choose whatever the heck you want. So right now we're tracing the Santa murdering policemen. For funsies. They're, they're virtual cops, come on. And by the way, you do get infinite ammo. Notice this. The minigun's the only weapon in the game that does not it's not have any auto aim. Of course other than a sniper rifle, but that one's kind of expected. Oh oh god, it's all fire. There's all kind of fire down here and stuff. It's only a matter for us. We well we would we would we would get the uh the animation. You can actually take out a helicopter by shooting out the tail rotor. There it is. It'll get sent into a spin. That and that's another way that GTA is kind of realistic, because most games will not let you shoot the tail rotor and just destroy the chopper that way. Loser. I mean, and even this costume kind of makes her look like Harley Quinn. I mean, the colors aren't exact, but she kind of looks like Harley Quinn. In the most inconvenient way to kill cops. The friggin' musket. I remember I did a death match back in the day where all we used was muskets. The musket is technically a, technically a rifle, it's not a shotgun. Now, Tracy can drive. I've had enough of shooting up cops. Let's lead them on a wild goose chase through through LS. And this will spawn. This will spawn up a car that I that I that I built. It 
it pulls from the from your from I guess Trevor's garage. I don't remember exactly whose garage this is pulling from. It's not Franklin's. If it was Franklin's, we'd be getting we'd be getting our hand we'd be we'd be getting our hands on a police car. Stuff like that. Get on the radio one because the uh controller will pick it up. Yes, we don't get any first person in director mode, I guess. This also can let us can let me show you the kind of damage your vehicle can your vehicle can get in in story mode. This is based on story mode. This is not online. The GT online, you can basically just bash your vehicle until it blows up. In here, in case you guys aren't familiar or you don't remember, vehicles they actually break. There's a lot more realism in in, a, in story mode. And yeah, there's wildlife. Something we haven't we don't see in online. This vehicle's not indestructible, as you can see, it is smoking. I think 6x6s six six might be one of the only vehicles that can actually survive, like, deep water. It's dead now. Yes, it doesn't run anymore. Okay, I'm getting tired of these police, man. There we go. No more police. They can't even come on us anymore. We're still in we're still unkillable. I don't think there's really any reason for that. I guess it's more or less just so we don't get kicked back to the trailer. You do Christmas weather. Oh, it's just snow. Oh, oh, fuck! Shit! 
Yeah, it's snowing. And the snow does lay. Trace you back and make sure she's not like a. She doesn't look like friggin' Harley Quinn anymore. <laughs> so messed up. You're fucking. You're fucking kidding me. So messed up. Everything else she has three, but she only has two goodbyes. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Aw, thanks. She has three of those. Oh, I hate this mud. We have one level disabled, so. Uh, wait. Where's the chopper? Oh, cause I spawned another one, that's what happened. Now let's not fly in the snow, let's do that. Switch on Mando for a little bit. I wouldn't say while we fly, but just for a little bit. Not necessarily just while we fly. Yeah, Amanda doesn't have first person either. I kind of don't understand why they don't have first person.
Uh, I hope she can parachute. It does not seem like it. Again, that's probably a thing. Uh, water won't save us. I don't. I don't think. No. Uh, I was expecting me with a parachute, but we didn't get a friggin' parachute! I thought you were automatically supposed to get a parachute if you were in an air vehicle. It's got a different character. Lamar for a little bit. No, oh, the homie LD. <laughs> oh yeah, he he's a, he has his own dialogue as well that we can that we can use. All these all these characters have dialogue, but they can't give our GTA Online characters dialogue. Like all the rando characters we can play as have dialogue. That's racist. Why is he all beat up? Hey. You know what? I think this is how we find him in a mission. He has five. He only has two goodbyes. That's a good one. What? What? Damn! Damn! Fuck! Fuck! Shit! Shit! Oh shit! Jesus! You know, it was originally plant. I think Lamar has like as like every possible animation. He can use cover. You can't go in first person. I guess that's maybe a thing with director's mode. Lamar's is on walk. That's not that's not Franklin's walk, by the way. That's a unique walk. Oh come on, you piece of garbage. It's kind of cool to play as a bar because there was originally supposed to be an option where you could kill Franklin and then Lamar would take his place. Actually, that was technically a fourth way, I think. That's actually a fifth way to end the game, too, because there was supposed to, it's, the rumors state that Lamar will be playable if Franklin dies, like, because you could pick him to be the one who's killed. Or you can actually kill the other guys and kill Franklin. Supposedly it would play out where Lamar would kill him. Because Franklin couldn't bring himself to kill himself. And then from then on we'd be Lamar. So Lamar looks so natural holding a gun. It's not like it's unrealistic because he does it all the friggin' time. I just don't understand why he looks so beat up. Oh, 
Why does he look like he was in a war? Look at this man. What the heck happened to him? We apologize where I live. Mm -hmm. This is the only way we can play as Lamar, but... Like I said, it was not meant, originally meant to be that way. Let's go back to the trailer and grab somebody else. Beverly, the the photographer. I'm pretty sure he has his own voice lines too. He does a lot of talking in the missions. He only has one outfit. Oh, Beverly has no speech, even though he does. Even though he does talk. Again, that's the only way we can play as him. I mean, you can technically play as characters by use by using mods and like cheat menus, but this is the only legitimate way to play as these kind of characters. He just has like a normal walk. That's just a normal male walk. That's nothing anything special. He doesn't have any speech or anything either. Should have the people, I would think. No, it didn't. He never uses a gun in the game because he's a he's a pacifist. So it definitely looks kind of weird. I don't know if he's actually a pacifist per se, but he's not one who who wears a gun who uses a gun. Yes, you could be fat, a fat ass lady mod, Mrs. Thornhill. That's the lady that asked Trevor to get those, get that stuff. Yes, we can be Ronald. He has a unique walk as well because he he has a messed up leg. No, he doesn't. Because in online, wait, when he walks, he walks with a hobble. You should have something to say. Dialogue in the game, so there's not much I can pull from.
And when you actually look at it, Ron does kind of walk a little weird. Watch the way he moves his arms. That is very unnatural. And we're just doing like a... We're just doing a run. We're not sprinting. When he sprints, he kind of he kind of walks like a normal. He kind of runs like a normal guy does. He run he runs like a male GTA character should. But if he does that, it's just like weird. He walks normal, but it's it, it's his it's his it's his run that's kind of weird. He kind of like swings his arms very very close to his body like that, and like. Straight up. You know, I think that's gonna do it. If you guys want to see more characters, I, I could, I could be obliged. Yeah, Rhonda's not a first person. You know what? I'm just curious. Just grab our online character, see if they can go in first person. They can. So I guess it's the only characters you can normally play as. And we didn't look and we didn't look at Amanda's speech, so I'll, we'll do that before we go. has to drop out bombs. that one a lot. because I think we've heard enough F-bombs for one day. <laughs> so, guys, we'll see you next time.